Miriam. I'm at Wings of Hope Equitherapy and I'm joined by my equine therapy partner, JJ. Today we are going to show you how to tack up a horse. Uh, the term tacking up a horse means putting on the saddle and bridle. Uh, we have a western saddle right here. Here is the saddle pad. The saddle pad does have a front and back to it. This part right here with this little cutout and reinforcement goes over the wither of the horse and this bump on JJ here is her withers. <clears throat> You'll see that it slightly comes up and that just gives some relief and space for her withers. This leather part here protects her sides from the cinch. All right so I'm gonna put this saddle pad on JJ, put my hand on her to let her know I'm here, make sure she's awake and I will gently set the saddle pad on her. Now when putting the saddle pad on, I always start a little bit forward and slide back. And the reason is, JJ's hair goes in this direction. So if the saddle pad is going against her hair, that's not going to be very comfortable for her. So I'm going to start a little bit forward and slide it back. Next, I'm going to take my saddle and to put it over her so that I don't bump her with this big stirrup, I'm going to put this stirrup on the horn and then pick up my saddle, carry it over to JJ. Once again, give JJ a little pat. And I'm gonna lift the saddle up over her and gently set it on top of her. You don't wanna drop the saddle onto JJ. Now what I'm doing is I'm pulling the pad up over her wither so there's a nice clearance. Looks good on this side, come around with me to the other side. Keep my hand on her as I walk around so she knows I'm here. Gently take this stirrup and put it down so it doesn't bang on her side. And get this, this is called the billet, it's what the girth attaches to. It was up under the saddle so I just pulled it out. Now I'm going to center <clears throat> the saddle onto the pad. So I've got some good wither clearance here. The billet is over this leather. Now as I walk back around, come with me. Right here, I'm going to make sure that the center of the pad is lined up with the center of the saddle, and you can see it is. So, I think that looks pretty good. It's time for the cinch. This is the cinch. It holds the saddle onto JJ. We're going to put it on the other side. <clears throat> Walk around her with my hand on her. Now the cinch, you want to make sure the middle of the cinch is at the middle of JJ's tummy so that it's even and comfortable for her. So to do that, I'm going to run it through the billet here, put it through these holes, and kind of measure. That feels like it's going to be right in the center, so we're going to go with that. I'm going to tuck this in so it doesn't bug her leg later. I'm going to walk back around. <clears throat> And just to get this out of my way, I'm going to take this stirrup and put it over the horn on this side. All right, this is called the latigo. This holds the saddle in place. We're going to undo it, get it nice and straight and flat. Reach down here and get the cinch. Now we start wrapping the cinch. So, one loop. a second loop and the number of loops you do will depend on how long your latigo is. This latigo is a little long so I'm gonna go one more loop, three loops. Now right now I'm just going to gently tighten up the cinch. I'm not gonna do it tight at first. After we bring JJ into the arena and walk her around a bit we'll tighten it a bit more and then right before our rider gets on we're gonna tighten it to where it's tight enough for the rider. The reason is we don't want to be rude to JJ and yank that tight. Okay, so gently pulling it up. I'm going to pull this loop here up and then pull the tail down here. And that tightens it. Now you'll see our latigo does have holes on it. And these holes are for this buckle to attach. And that could work, that does work. But here at Wings, we like to do it the old-fashioned way, which we know is super safe. So I'm going to show you how to do a latigo knot. Come on in. 
So this piece goes under and through the left side, over the top, under and through the right side, up the top, and loops through and pulls tight. Now this makes sure that your cinch and latigo are not gonna go anywhere, and it also gives JJ a completely custom fit. She doesn't have to fit within the holes. So we like using this. All right, JJ is good to go with her saddle. I'm going to pull this quick release knot that she's tied with and show you how to put on her bridle. myself, I'm going to put this rope over her neck. She'll stand. All right. Put on the bridle here at Wings of Hope. We leave the halters on so the horses can easily be led. If I were to take the halter off before putting on the bridle, I would just buckle it around her neck. Take it off of her face and buckle it around her neck. But we're going to leave it on. We also use side pulls here. We don't use a bit. Our horses respond real well with these. So to put this on, just going to hold the nose band with my hand as I wrap it around JJ's face. Gently put it up over her. And then these awesome ears of hers are bendable. So I'm just going to gently bend one ear, put it in, pull the side, pull up, bend the other ear, put it in, get her forelock out, get her mane all flat because we want her to be nice and comfortable. And you want to make sure that this isn't too far down on her nose so it doesn't irritate her cartilage. This part of her nose is real sensitive. We want it up here on the bony part. So I'm going to raise this up a bit. There we go. Much better, JJ. Now this is called the throat latch. The purpose of this is so that if JJ catches her bridle on something or shakes her head, her bridle doesn't fall off. So we just put this on real loosely. We want to be able to get three fingers under her throat and the throat latch. All right, Miss JJ is ready to ride. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Mariam and I'm back again with my equine therapy partner, JJ. I showed you how to put on a Western saddle. Now we're going to put on an English saddle. This particular English saddle is a dressage saddle. There are several different types of English saddle. This one is a dressage. It's got flat flaps here and long billets. And I'll show you all that in a minute. Here is the dressage pad. Just like the Western pad, it has a front and a back. You can see that it goes slightly uphill here to accommodate JJ's withers. So this is the direction it will go on her. I'm gonna put my hand on her, put the pad on. And just like the Western saddle pad, I'm gonna start a little too far forward and slide back so all that hair is going in the right direction. Saddle placement is going to be, here's her shoulder, her shoulder uh, blade right here. You want the saddle to sit just behind the shoulder blade. So I'm gonna place the pad so that the saddle is sitting nicely right here. All right, here is my saddle. I'm going to lift it gently and put it over JJ's back. Just like the Western saddle, I'm going to take this front part of the saddle pad and pull it up so JJ has a little clearance on her wither. All right, that feels pretty good. Here is Western, you call it a cinch. English, you call it a girth. It does the exact same thing, keeps your saddle on. I'm going to go around to the other side. Keeping my hand on her at all times so that she knows where I am. And to keep the, the saddle pad in place, there are these keepers on the saddle pad. We're gonna take the billet straps, which are these that hold the saddle on, and run them through the keeper, and that'll keep the saddle pad from sliding around. Then I'm going to put the girth on. We wanna make sure the middle of the girth is right in the middle of JJ's belly. So here's the middle. And 
that's gonna be right about in the middle of JJ's belly. I'm gonna walk back around with my hand on her. Slide my hand down her side so she knows where I am. Grab this and up. Oh, it's not quite in the middle, but that's okay. We can fix it. <clears throat> Slide these through the keeper, just like on the other side. And I will attach the cinch, the girth, sorry. See, English Western, girth. All right, so to make sure I don't pinch JJ's skin, I'm gonna keep my hand under the girth as I pull up and gently tighten it so that it's snug on JJ, but not tight at all. Okay, so you can see that I'm on number two here, one, two. Let's go around to the other side so we can get these about even. Sometimes it's hard to guess where the middle is. All right, so we were on two on that side. We're on one, two, three, four on this side. Let's go down to three here, and then I bet we can go up to three on the other side. All right, back around. And yes, we'll go up to three here, keeping my hand up under her so she doesn't get pinched. And three here. All right, that's pretty good for now. After we walk her around a little bit and get her warmed up, we'll tighten it one more time. Then right before the rider gets on, we'll check it, see if it's tight enough for the rider and tighten it one more time. Once it is tight enough, we will take these billets and put them into their keepers down here so they don't bother the rider's leg or JJ's leg as she walks. Then right before we get on, we'll pull the stirrup down and JJ is ready to ride. Thanks for watching.